are you? Are you doing really well? My name is Diane and this is uh, How to Train Your Caterpillar, a spiritual life coaching channel. Welcome to the video. Thank you for coming to check it out. This video is going to be about um, why it's so important to work on forgiving people. It's something, it's a request that someone uh, made and I think it's a really good topic so that's what this video is going to be about. Um, but before I get into it, I just want to say thank you for checking out the video. Uh, hopefully you'll find it useful and you'll enjoy it and if you do and you feel like liking and subscribing for me i'd appreciate that a lot um i also just want to welcome you to the new pad <laughs> for those of you that have been here before welcome to casa de diane <laughs> she diane um please ex it's still kind of a mess like there's like see here this goober this big goober here apologies about that and also there should be paintings here that I'm going to be hanging up but I just haven't quite got around to it and this is the fireplace is real but there's a tv in front of it which is kind of fitted in quite well so I just wanted to make it nice for you guys it's like like a distraction <laughs> like don't don't look at the mess don't look at the mess um yeah oh apologies also if it's a little echoey like i do have like a new microphone that i'm trying out here but um it is a it's a wooden floor apologies if it's echoey but i can't really do anything about it um so yeah why it's so important to work on forgiving people this is something that i really have struggled with i used to hold a lot of grudges but it's something that i really worked hard on because the thing is it takes so much of your energy is the thing and what I realized is like it doesn't hurt them like you being angry <laughs> doesn't hurt them they're just off living their life living their best life just like oh, I don't know what's going on because you know a lot of these people that are doing this kind of stuff to you they're like low vibration they haven't done any shadow work quite a lot of the time they're probably not even really able to see it from your perspective or they're not willing to because that would involve like going within, admitting that they have faults, doing the shadow work, engaging in self-reflection, blah, blah, blah. And basically, frankly, it's something that most people are not willing to do because it's hard and it's kind of unpleasant looking at that side of yourself. You know what I mean? So most people are not gonna do it really. Um, but you kind of being angry is not going to change the situation, it's not going to make them a better person, it's not going to make them come back and apologize to you probably, <laughs> you know, like it's just sucking up your energy. The th so really the reason, I mean when you're forgiving people, it's not for them, it's for you, you know, because I think that's where I used to get stuck as well and you're like, well I'm not going to forgive them, like why should I? Like, because you're doing it for you right because you need to let that shit go and i'm going to talk more about why but you're not doing that's the point to like really focus on here like you're not doing it for them you're doing it for you you know um because you're you know you're right like probably a lot of the time maybe they're not sorry or maybe they are sorry but they're not going to apologize or whatever you know and a lot of the time it's people that are just sorry about my phone it's just like People are just doing the best that they can from whatever state of consciousness that they're at. You know what I mean? Like people are just doing the best they can from whatever vibration level they're at. So that's kind of what you have to take away. It's like, well, it's not really about me. This is about unhealed wounds that you have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but the reason it's so important to be able to forgive is when you're not forgiving, it's keeping you stuck in the same loop because you're telling yourself the same stories and um, you're attaching yourself to the same people because when you know when you get a, a, a minute and you're thinking and you're like oh god that person did me so wrong like it still annoys me oh my god you're still etherically and like emotionally attaching yourself to that person so they're never going to leave your life they're never going to leave um and that's it means that nobody else is going to come in because I think that's a lot of the reason like when people have had a very traumatic breakup like it's something that I went through um, you know or like a very traumatic kind of relationship it takes them a long time to find someone new or they never find them and it's because they're still kind of holding on to this past stuff 
So it's not really creating a space for something new to come in because you know the universe loves a void. Um, sorry if my jumper's squinting it's annoying me. The universe loves a void like when you remove something it has to fill it with something else right um, and the thing is you're still you start you're telling yourself the same story like for example um, say you had a friend right who was kind of a bully and he or she like you know they, they kind of dominated you and they rode roughshod over you and they sort of belittled you and all this kind of stuff if you're still putting yourself kind of in that place that you used to be mentally you're still almost kind of playing the victim if you see what i mean Whereas you're not, you're not in that place anymore, like you're not with that person, that person's not in your life anymore, like you shouldn't be having to think about that anymore. Like you're not the victim, you got yourself out of that situation and now it's time to think about new stuff, right? But if you, if you can't really kind of let go, it, there's just no space for new stuff to come in, basically. Um, yeah, that's... I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Like there's, you have to be really determined I think as well to, to let it go. Like once you realize that these things are holding you back, you know, for example, like one thing that might resonate with a lot of people is like, if you had a particularly bad breakup um, and you, you find it really hard to get over what the person did, even this may even be like subconsciously because consciously you might be like, I'm over that. Like I'm so ready for this new person, like bring them on, but actually, there's emotions there that you've not dealt with or there's like a subconscious part of you that's like oh but I'm so bitter about that like I'm still holding on like because it gives you an identity is the thing like when you're holding on to these past issues and past versions of yourself it's like your identity and when you no longer have that it's like well who am I I think that's why a lot of people don't want to let go you know um but yeah, I mean, if you're really like once you've got to that place when you where you actually want to forgive and you actually want to let go and you don't want to be that person anymore. And it's like, but I see the future and I want to be in the future. I don't want to be stuck in this old shit anymore. Um, one of the the things you can do is work on the heart chakra because the heart chakra is like it's like the brain of the chakra system. If you want to know more about the heart chakra, I have a separate video on that. You can go and check it out if you want. Um, but the heart chakra, there's like, it's like the brain of the chakra system. So it's like where all the hurt and the pain get stored. Um, and when it's all gunked up like that, it makes it very difficult for you to like receive unconditional love. So if you're still kind of smarting, you know, like if you still have this heart chakra like block, um, from something that's happened before, it makes it very difficult for someone new to come in and give you unconditional love. Whether that's the form of romantic love or friends or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Um, so you can work on the heart chakra. That's that's a, a good one. Um, I'll leave the links that I use for like heart chakra frequencies and meditations and stuff below. Obviously you don't have to use those. You can use whatever you want. It's just like a kind of a cheat sheet guide. Um, there's also, there's so much stuff on YouTube, you know, like forgiveness uh, subliminals and like forgiveness frequencies and like help me release my past and like there's so much of this stuff that's on YouTube and it's all free that you can use. There's also, um, you know, you can do guided meditations and it's, it's not going to go away overnight, you know, it's not going to go away overnight, like depending on what it was and how, like how much you have built up in there. Um, you know, because particularly probably um, wounds that happened a long time ago are maybe something that would take longer to release because it's like way back there. You know, it's like when you're cleaning out a cupboard and if it's like a particularly deep cupboard, it's going to take you, you know, you got to get the stuff at the front first, right? The easy stuff, you got to get that out of the way. And then you get further and further back and you start getting the really dirty stuff, you know what I mean? Like the the things of the cobwebs and things. I don't have a 
I just want to clarify <laughs> that's just a metaphor I'm, I'm not I don't have a gross cupboard like that um yeah I'm trying to think if there's anything else probably working on the sacral chakra as well would help because the sacral chakra is also like the seat of emotions so if there's any like repressed emotions coming out because the thing is you can't really deal with this stuff as well until you become aware that you have these emotions because there may be like you might be blocking some of this out with, without even knowing it you know because I did that for a long time it's like oh my god like I don't understand like why I can't meet anyone new and then I realized I hadn't really let myself actually grieve about it because I have a habit of kind of squashing emotions down it's like I don't need that not thinking about that that's getting in the way not doing it you know so I think it, I can't remember why I realized I think it might have been like a reading that I was watching or something and I was like that do you know what that's actually right like I haven't really let myself grieve and then I did it and you know it makes you more kind of attached to the person for a while but then you just you just like you know what I just I release you I don't want you back in my life anymore but I forgive you because I think that's another thing that people kind of associate with forgiveness is that you have to have the person back in your life that's not the case you know especially if it was some if it's someone toxic and they haven't really I mean even if it's someone toxic and they haven't shown you that they can change you definitely shouldn't have them back in your life it's not your job to fix everyone that's not your job particularly if they're not going to do the work themselves like you can't help them you can only help people who want to be helped and frankly most people don't want to be helped because it's hard because you have to admit stuff about yourself that's not fun right uh, and not many people want to do that but even if they have shown you that they can change and they're really sorry and blah 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 it's totally up to you whether or not you want this person back in your life because it's my opinion that a lot of people are not meant to stay in your life forever you know like you have these people that come in and they teach you lessons and then when the lesson is over it's time for you guys to part ways and that can be the case with family and friends boyfriends girlfriends whatever in my opinion um so you know because i think that's another thing people are maybe it, like people get worried about when you talk about forgiveness they're like oh but i don't want them back in my life it's like yeah but you don't have to you don't have to but what you need to do is like let go just let it go stop thinking about it stop dwelling on it because it's not it's it's stopping things from coming like stopping new things from coming in you know um yeah i think that's everything that i have to say honestly like sound healing is you know like frequencies and hypnosis if you want to try that subliminals um also like asking asking your guides or asking the universe or your angels or whatever you want to call them you know just be like like i'm really ready to move on from this person please help me do it you know what i mean so i'm going to leave that there um, I hope it was useful and hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. I mean, just, you know, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I would appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.